Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome back to the Speed Chess Championship 2020. We already reached a semi-final, so we have Hikaru Nakamura against Wesley So. So the same semi-finals like in the Skilling Open 2020 where uh, Wesley So won and in the final he won against Magnus Carlsen. So now Hikaru Nakamura has a chance for a revenge and I would like to show you one of the games. In this game, this is already the bullet time control game, uh, one minute, one second incrementation, so definitely not very precise one but both of the players are extremely well in the tactics so I show you I'm gonna show you one of the a very interesting tactical game and uh, without further ado let's see what happened on the board Hikaru Nakamura as white opens with e4 we have c5 we have knight f3 d6 invitation for the um, open Sicilian but we have bishop b5 so if you doesn't want to uh, go for all of these complicated variations and then you always can jump out of the theory. Uh, out of the theory means uh, after bishop b5, which is called Moscow variation, we have 20,000 games in the database. So this is uh, called out of the theory. Uh, Black can play whatever they want, but they have three legal moves. All of them are playable. Uh, bishop d7 is the most popular, exchanging the, the light square bishops, but we have knight d7. And now immediately bishop a4, as there is the risk of um, the bishop getting catch um, this way. So, uh, of course, white have to know a bit of the theory here as well. We have knight f6, we have a castle. If black actually takes this pawn, it's playable for both of the sides, but black gonna have very difficult position after rook e1, knight f6, uh, then rapid development of the pieces. And look at this, for example, bishop can come on f4 with the first um, trick on the, um, on the d6. Uh, also, the knight can jump to f4 also with this attack. Knight c3, uh, rapid development is the key here as the king is still in the center and needs at least one, two, three moves to the castle. Castle is probably not possible. We have two games in the database. One actually won by white, one by black. So it's not like, you know, black is losing. However, it's very, very risky and uncomfortable game for black. This is why we have e6, more traditional approach. We have rook e1 now defending the pawn uh, and now a6 threatening uh, catching the bishop. Uh, we have c4 playing against the, this b5 move, we have bishop e7 and now we have d4 opening the, the center. So c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, we have also castle, knight c3 and this position was reached once uh, where queen c7 was played, however now we have knight e5 going after the pawn on c4. We have queen e2 defending, queen c7 now, so uh, just different uh, moves order. Uh, but the same position uh, was, was reached. Uh, now this pawn is attacked twice. This is why we have bishop b3 uh, and now we have bishop d7. Uh, we have also f4 kicking the knight, so knight c6 uh, and now we have one game in the database where knight c6 was played and, and then after bishop c6, interesting white won that game. However, the reason was because the, the white player was uh, 200 points ahead uh, so uh, much stronger player. So that was probably the reason. We have bishop e3 by Hikaru Nakamura. He deviates, so that's kind of the novelty. Of course, we cannot say about the novelty in the in the bullet time control, but it was not played on the top level in the in the standard time control at least. We have rook a to c8, uh, we have knight c6 now, a bishop c6, bishop f2, defending uh, this pawn, now uh, it's defended three times, otherwise of course it could be taken by the knight or the bishop. Uh, we have rook f to e8 and now rook a to d1. Very nice centralized position of the both of the rooks, so controlling a semi-open d file also so if the e file is open, another rook can, can support. Uh, and now Wesley so went for queen a5. So moving the queen on the on the queen side. Uh, for now, the queen does nothing over there. But in the future, um, who knows? We have bishop c2, very important move. And now in this position, I would like to actually to pause the video because Wesley so went for b5, which is a fatal mistake. So pause the video right now and find the very strong continuation uh, for white while I enjoy my cup of tea. Okay, ready? 
So the correct move, first I will show you the correct move, the engine recommends G6 and G6 is extremely important because it's actually uh, against this attack on the H7. So here is the idea. Now. Wesley saw playing b5, probably he thought, okay, uh, we're gonna have e5, this is what Hikaru obviously played, so he attacks the pawn twice and also the knight, so uh, we have d takes on e5, f takes on e5, knight d7, and here is the final uh, combination, and um, if you found this tactic, whole tactic, then congratulations. So the idea is, yes, to attack on the h7, but of course not with the queen, uh, because g6, there is always time for g6 this is what um, Wesley so told however we have rook d7 now and this is culmination of this tactic bishop d7 and now queen d3 threatening the checkmate and also attack on this undefended bishop at this moment so g6 now and now finally queen d7 so two pieces for the rook uh, very nice tactic by Hikaru Nakamura so that's the part of the puzzle rush, but this is not the end. This is not the end. This is why I choose the game. Because now Wesley so went for bishop before. Very, very tricky move. And now what would you play as white? Try to think what would you play as white. There is continuation, winning uh, continuation, uh, but you have to be very careful. So the winning move in this position would be actually rook f1, going for some um, discoveries maybe bishop h4 with the attack on the on the f7 together with the rook maybe with the bishop on the on the b6 there are a couple of possibilities but all of them are very very crazy so for example rook e to d8 getting jumping to them to the open file controlling completely queen a7 and now the best move for black believe me or not is actually rook c4 don't care about the bishop b6 because in this position bishop b6 trapping the queen doesn't really work because after bishop b6 uh, there is queen b6 queen b6 and bishop c5 wins back the material um, and after um, queen c5 rook c5 the game is still you know on uh, according to the engine black actually stands slightly better this pawn has no support is on the dark square so probably gonna fall it's very difficult to defend and now black gonna have this uh, past pawn and probably Probably this is gonna win the game. This is why the engine suggests that black stands uh, slightly better, even there are two pieces uh, for the rook. Uh, but white would have much more correct move, and it's a3. Now kicking this bishop, and if the bishops move, for example, to f8, there is the problem with this attack on the on the f7. It cannot be defended by the rook uh, because the rook cannot go, of course, here because the the bishop would say that stay there. So probably bishop c3 to to win the tempo a b takes on c3 uh, and now there are two options but both of them are good for white so uh queen a3 just avoiding this tactic now it would be very dangerous but now what white have is bishop h4 and all the dark squares as you already see there is no dark square bishop at all uh, we also have the attack on the f7 and attack on the rook so a, a lot of things happening here. A uh, rook f8 would be forced, but then we have bishop e7 with the attack on the rook, with the attack on the queen. So you already see that it cannot end uh, good. Let's say queen c3, bishop f8. Now rook c7 blocking and defending f7. And what white have to find, of course, is not queen a8 uh, and uh, defending the bishop and making some nasty discoveries here and checkmates because of the rook c8 defending all the position and the bishop would be lost, but rather trying to exchange the queens. And after, uh, let's say, queen c2 avoiding, uh, then queen a8, uh, rook c8, and then queen f3, and white have one extra bishop, actually for three pawns, however, uh, there is a huge pressure on the on the f7 there is the bishop on the dark square so the bishop can also come for example to the to the f6 uh, and this is of course winning for white 
So queen a3 would not work. Rook c7 is the best move in the position. However, it's not enough because after bishop b6, uh, again, uh, we have to exchange the queens. Otherwise, it's lost. And then after rook d2, uh, yes, black can win one of the pawns. However, pair of bishops is much stronger than a bishop and the knight. And this time, white actually is, uh, have a much stronger position and probably winning position. But the end game could be very, very long. Rook d1 getting to them to the open file and so on so this was possible rook f1 is the strongest move in the position for hikaru but hikaru found the another tactic so puzzle rush who's gonna be better we have knight e4 now threatening knight f6 and winning two rooks for the knight and then uh, Wesley gonna stay with the with the queen and the and the bishop. So of course it's losing. However, to Hikaru's surprise, at first he was not surprised so much. He calculated, okay, bishop e1. This is possible. Now I have knight f6. This is what he played. We have king g7, knight e8 with check and with the attack on the rook. So we have rook e8, queen e8. And here I would like to show you the video because once. Wesley so made the move. This is reaction of Hikaru. Boom! Queen d2 and this is what happened. So enjoy this video. This is Hikaru who cannot believe what just happened. He started to laugh. So this is ev evidently uh, the puzzle rush. He make the move. There is the only one move because of course we're gonna have the, the checkmate. So the only move is bishop c5 threatening the checkmate in one however and now you can pause the video one more time and find the final blow in this position hikaru nakamura resign after the move uh, which wesley so did uh, and uh, you can actually find while i enjoy my cup of tea okay ready the only continuation winning continuation for a black because otherwise that's gonna be the checkmate is actually bishop f2 sacrificing this bishop but also opening the first rank so this is the idea and here hikaru nakamura resign everything is forced if he moved the king we're gonna have a checkmate and if he um takes the bishop we're gonna have queen c1 and this is the the checkmate also everything is forced at the end that would be the checkmate what a game what a game very beautiful tactic and um, yeah that was the puzzle rush by hikaru and wesley so beautiful show and uh, i would like to also show you uh, what just happened so hikaru nakamura won 13 and a half to 12 and a half uh, everybody predicted that in the in the bullet uh, hikaru nakamura will dominate he won only by one point uh, also the blitz uh, three minutes was won by Wesley So by one point, uh, but the blitz five minute Hikaru was was stronger and he won by one point. 13 and a half to 12 and a half Wesley So uh, gave a really great um, fight against the speed demon like Hikaru Nakamura. That was uh, beautiful. And Hikaru gonna play against the winner um, of the second semifinal Magnus Carlsen or Maxime Vachel Lagraf. So if you don't want to miss um, another video from this tournament press subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and see you in the next one